Well, good morning, beloved, and happy Monday. God bless you, my friend. God bless you today with his powerful, powerful presence and love and strength and wisdom. And we need wisdom and we need prayer right now. This, this uh, COVID-19 is spreading and these are the days to shelter in place again and don't go out unless it's absolutely necessary and make sure you wear a mask and pray before you go and pray while you're out and when you get back, wash your hands and pray again and keep your distance as best you can from others. Well, I wanna tell you the, a story this morning about the first time I went to preach uh, back in 1983 at Calvary Baptist Church in Rotan. Uh, we had just moved to Abilene that August of 82 and enrolled at Hardin-Simmons and I was majoring in Bible and want, wanted to learn how to preach. Well, first uh, in 1983, first part of January, I got a call from Ty Harrison. He said he was the chairman of the deacons and search committee at Calvary Baptist Church in Rotan, wanted to know if I could come and preach up there at Calvary on the third Sunday in January, 1983. I said, sure I will. He said, well, we'll have a morning service and then of course our evening service and can you do both? I said, yes, because I knew I had two sermons. I'd, I'd preached a few times when I was a cowboy for some of the pastors that we had and they'd asked me to fill in for them. So I had two sermons. So I thought, I've got it. And uh, so he gave me directions how to get there. He said, allow yourself about an hour and I'll meet you in the parking lot at 9.30. So I left a little bit earlier and I got to uh, uh, Rotan. I'd never even heard of Rotan, but I followed his directions, got there, church on the edge of town and dirt roads and, and uh, parked in the little field next to the church, a little cinder block, rectangle shaped cinder block church painted white, had a little cupola on top of the cross and the bell. And uh, Ty came driving up about 9.30 and he said, okay, we're gonna have Sunday school here in a little bit and then you preach. And then after, after church, you can walk across the street to Ollie and Estelle's house, they'll feed you lunch, you can take a nap and then come back over and we'll have training union at six and our Sunday evening service at seven. Since it's the third Sunday, I'll give you half the offering before you head back to Abilene. I said, done, it's a deal. Went in the church, and I knew it was a Baptist church right off because it had a baptistry in the kitchen. You know, you got to have those two, but, or it's not a Baptist church. So the sanctuary in the front part, and fellowship hall, and Sunday school rooms in the back, and pretty soon about 25 people gathered for Sunday school. About a third of them were children and teenagers. And we sat down there, and, and uh, Ty said, Hey, everybody, I want to introduce to you Brother Stahl. He's got a preacher today. Now let's pray. Brother Stahl, you lead us. And so I prayed, and we had Sunday school. After Sunday school, Ty got back up, and he said, okay, let's take a little break, but let's, let's pray before we close. Brother Stahl, lead us in prayer. I prayed again. We uh, took a little break, came back in for the worship service. Ty got up and said, everybody, because we had two more couples that came to church. Hey, everybody, I want to introduce to you. If you weren't here for Sunday school, you missed a good lesson. And I want to introduce to you Brother Stahl. He's our preacher today. Now let's pray. Brother Stahl, lead us. And I prayed to start the worship service. Well, when I got up to preach, I prayed, preached, gave the invitation, sat down. Brother Ty got up and he said, okay, everybody remember Sun train unions at six and evening services at seven. Now let's pray. Brother Stahl, you dismiss us in prayer. I prayed again. Walked across the street, sat down at the table, fried chicken, mashed potatoes, green beans, hot rolls, butter, all raised and grown right there by Ollie and Estelle, except the flour of the rolls. And we sat down there to eat and Brother Ollie looked over at me and I knew what he was going to say before he said it. <laughs> he said, Brother Stahl, would you say the blessing? But before he said that, I knew what he was going to say and two thoughts went through my head immediately. First was this, good grief, I think I've prayed more since 9.30 today than I have all week. And the second thought was, being a preacher means you pray a lot. And little did I know, beloved, the depth of that last thought 
And uh, so I said the blessing, had lunch, took a nap, went over and went through the same drill again. Well, at the end of the evening service, went out in the parking lot, everybody was gone except me and Ty Harrison. He gave me $30 and said, we got together after the service, can you come back next week? I said, I will. Jumped in my little car and headed back to Abilene. Well, I prayed the whole way back. First of all, I prayed for two more sermons. I only had two. <laughs> Secondly, I prayed and said, Lord, I didn't realize how much you prayed being a preacher. And I prayed this prayer. Lord, teach me to pray. Lord, teach me to pray. And I knew that that's what, that was from Luke 11, verse 1. And it became my first prayer request. And the prayer request that I've had all these years now, Lord, teach me to pray. And beloved, we need to learn to pray. We need to learn to pray before this happened, this crisis, during this crisis, at the end of this crisis. Because listen, beloved, this crisis is not going to go away until we learn to pray. And so let's learn to pray. And it's not going away until we pray. And so let's pray. Let's remember, and I remember, what Brother Ty said. Beloved, and now let's pray. Lord Jesus, teach us to pray. Teach us to pray is our prayer. In the name which is above every name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and hallelujah.